Welcome to another episode of Bite Size Agility. I'm here today with Mia Colmadin, founder and coach of Dandy People. Hi, Mia. Hi, nice to be here. Um, so, Mia, we're just going to kick start with how do you onboard team members at Dandy People and what are your top tips for organizations onboarding new members? Mm, so, this is a very important, uh, of course, thing to, to think about. And especially maybe how you do it right now when we have the COVID-19 situation. So how can you manage to do this in, in a good way? Uh, also online. Um, actually, today we have a midsummer uh, kind of a dinner together, everyone in Dandy. Uh, so everyone has made midsummer food and we're eating with our families together with our newest member who is uh, living in the U.S. So she's getting, she's been getting all this kind of food and she's prepared everything herself too to taste uh, how well uh, Swedish uh, festivity food tastes like, and also spend the, the midsummer, which is a very important uh, Swedish thing that we do a holiday. That uh, so that's that's one of the things that we're doing. Of course, we're working together a little bit before she actually starts. So we've been doing uh, webinars. We've been doing a couple of things. We've been inviting her before she started now to our online conference that we had a couple of months ago at Brandy People as well. And also actually invited her to our Slack community where we also talk together. So all of this before she actually starts working with us. So that's, so that's a couple of things that we do. Yes, yeah, so you've, you've got, was it Slack, a conference and webinars and sort yeah. of your online dinner, yes, dinner party. <laughs> super. Yeah, we've had afterworks as well. <laughs> So, yeah, she's been joining in on all of these things where we get to know each other and she gets to know the culture in both Bandy and in Sweden, which is, of course, totally new to her. Um, so feeling safe about moving here and who we are and how we can work together all different, uh, very important parts of onboarding. Brilliant. So what are the challenges of leading teams remotely? So obviously we're all working from home. Your new your new colleague is based in the US at the moment. Um, so how are you looking at virtually providing that online training and coaching? So of course, making it visible, uh, what needs to be done. So we have a, for onboarding, for example, we have a Trello board where uh, everyone goes through the same process uh, and get support within that Trello board with links and who you can ask for things. And then we have assignments in there as well, where you get to actually um, have lunch with people across the, you know, in the organization so that we know that they get to actually meet everyone. And we also have a buddy system where we uh, put people together as buddies, onboarding buddies, but then we continue to work with us as uh, buddies, learning buddies, continuously after that as well. So we make sure that people actually connect to different people in the organization, but also have someone who they can always ask questions and get help. Um, so, of course, there's lots of things that you need to do and also have continuously every week meetings where we actually work together. So we have some meetings every Tuesday for an hour and a half when and anyone can join in and pair work and co-work and, you know, uh, get feedback and stuff that you're working on, even though you might be working um, at a customer or you might be in the onboarding or could be different things that you're doing. So give those opportunities for collaboration and, and that people can get support and not feel alone. Hmm? So with the buddy system, do you pair colleagues up with similar backgrounds and interests or is it just anyone within the team so they can sort of learn different elements and aspects of the, of the organization? So you could pair people up based on um, strategies that you might have, uh, and you could give the, the body system different uh, subjects that you want them to do. You could be working with uh, strategic development, uh, business intelligence, or uh, learning, or whatever you want. So what we've had now, up until now, is just pairing people up, uh, and it's better if they have different uh, experiences, mm. and if they work on different customers, uh, so that you get support outside of your uh, normal environment and context um, and get someone who you can always talk to and that you continuously book uh, buddy meetings with. So about every second week we have buddy meetings in different ways 
So I have a, a body and uh, tomorrow we have a body lunch. Uh, two weeks ago we had a body spa. <laughs> so you, it depends who, who you body up with. Some people have body beers and, and, um, and uh, burgers. Um, but then you get to talk in, in a strategic and, and structured way. So we have a structured uh, format on Canvas um, yep. where we work with our continuous development ourselves. But then of course you could pair people up in different ways. Maybe across the organization to break down silos. Mm -hmm. really good way and you can give them assignments where maybe they change the structures and, and the organization um, too. making it more cross-functional yeah mm. with the crisis of COVID-19 that's, that's had an effect on the world how have you seen agile transformations change or organizations see agile transform have they sort of come to you and wanted to adapt more quickly to to change or have these sort of have you not seen much of a uh, an effect so what we see i think is that um the flaws that you might have in the organization are uh, you know they're much more visible right now uh, when we have the situation that we have so the organizations probably much um, more easily see what's going on and not going on um, so they might feel a need for change more um strategically and more in the in the long run and not just working with a very short focus uh, like maybe they've not been doing right now to just survive um so the requests that we get are uh, much more actually from the, the senior uh, management the executives that they need support uh, in doing more um bigger transformations uh but maybe not that they want to do it in a big bang or work just with everything at once but they understand that this is something that you need to work with continuously um, but doing it also from the top and mm. not just on on team levels because they might see this this gap that you get between the teams and the strategic levels so that's usually much more obvious right now that it's a black hole um, so the leadership might not really know what's going on in the teams um, so i think that gets uh, much more obvious yeah I mean, right now the need for for actually leading in an agile so Mia, you've re you've released uh, your latest poster on agile recruitment uh, using vuca do you want to mm. explain a little bit about the work behind that yeah, um, so it actually started about eight months ago. Uh, and it's, of course, one of the processes which is uh, super important to adapt for agility. And for handling VUCA, this uh, fast paced and, and where you don't really know what's going to happen and everyone gets maybe the different pictures of what's going on that we, of course, see a lot right now, then you need to adapt that process as well. Uh, so we've been teaming up Dandy, uh, me and Bjorn, and uh, together with Frida, who's a, she's a pod uh, speaker here in Sweden. She's got this great HR, Agile HR pod, together with two specialists in recruiting. Uh, so we created this poster which focuses on how you can work in an Agile way with recruiting and how you can recruit for an Agile organization. So those two different aspects um, that we just released. So uh, I'm hoping to get a lot of uh, feedback from the HR community and the Agile community on that. Brilliant. So what we'll do is after this video, we'll share, we'll share the link to your poster. And if that's, if you've got any feedback for Mia, that'd be great to, to hear. So please add that into the comments or contact Dandy People direct. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> or <Great. my> team. <laughs> we'll do our best. Super. Thank you very much, Mia, for talking to me today. Mm -hmm. And we look forward to joining us on another bite-sized agility episode another time yeah thank you <laughs>